Hi, I'm Kyler. This is how to make Apple shortcuts run automatically. If you don't have a shortcut yet or you want a special shortcut, press the plus in the top right hand corner. We're going to add and I'm going to just say play a podcast. I just click on this up first right there. Next, name it something that's recognizable. I'll just call it up first. Done. Now create your automation by pressing the automation tab down in the middle center, then the plus arrow to add a new automation. Now you can choose from a home automation that works for everybody with these possible triggers or with more options a personal automation with all of these triggers. I personally like the personal automations because there's a lot more choices. Let's do a time of day example. I'll set it a few minutes from now. After you select your time and your repeat schedule, press next and add action. All of the possible options you can choose from will show up here. If you don't see it, you can type in shortcuts and then press shortcuts and then run shortcut. Now tap on the shortcuts parameter and choose the shortcut you'd like to run. So once you get the shortcut chosen that you want to run, select next. And then if you want this to run automatically, turn off the ask before running and say, don't ask, what meaning I just want it to automatically run. Now, not all triggers in the Apple shortcuts can be run automatically. Here are the ones that can be run automatically, and here are the ones that cannot yet be run automatically. You can still have them run off these triggers, but it will send you a prompt to say, do you want to run this? A notification from the top. So I adjusted my automatic trigger time. Let's see if it runs. There you go. If you found that video helpful, please subscribe and let us know if you have any more questions in the comments and I'll put out another video just for you.